Hello humans and welcome to another special edition of Chef Mike Does Stuff. Uh, hopefully you could hear me even better than the last video. I now have a lav mic uh, right over here. So even if I turn this way or that way, you should still be able to hear me pretty good. I've also made a little more sound barrier action to, uh, to get a little more uh, sound, stopping sound reverberation for your ear holes. So you are very welcome. Um, this is a very exciting episode. So as you guys have probably known, if you've been following my YouTube page, um, I made the cow tipper. So that was made famous uh, by Kevin Smith, uh, referenced in Clerks 2. There was a big picture. It's a six pound, four tiered, massive burger. Uh, a lot of people liked it. I did a nice uh, cut down the middle presentation um, and uh, it was very well received. Kevin Smith seemed to like it. Once again, reassured that when filming starts, he said I can be a movies chef. So let's hope that that's uh, still legit. However, a bunch of people were like, wait a second, Kevin Smith is vegan. And also in that same uh, kind of Twitter thread, the folks at Impossible Foods said, hey, could you make a vegan version or a vegetarian version of that burger? And I said, absolutely. So they were nice enough to send me uh, some Impossible burgers that I'll be uh, cooking with today. Now, I also made the appropriate other changes. So I am not here to dispute your definition of vegan. I'm gonna let you know what I did and what I changed from the original recipe, as well as how I cleaned my grill, just so you are aware that I did the, as far as I'm concerned, the appropriate steps. By all means, if it does not meet your requirements on vegan, you change it around to however you wanna do it. But the first thing we're obviously doing is swapping out our ground beef for the Impossible Burger. I have a total of five pounds of Impossible Burger here. So these are 1.25 pound patties each that I seasoned just like I did last time. One of the things I had to swap out from last time is the bun. I used a brioche, which has an egg wash. That is not vegan. So I actually got this onion bun, um, which I'm using instead, which is actually still very delicious. Of course it is. Um, I still have the same lettuce and I still have the same tomatoes, but we're gonna be using eight pretty darn thick slices of vegan cheese I got from the store. And we're replacing um, our mayonnaise with a vegan mayonnaise. Now, like I said, for as far as I'm concerned, this entire meal is vegan. There may be some ingredients in here that you don't consider vegan. For instance, the bread here still has yeast and some very strict vegans, which is neither right or wrong. It is your absolute opinion. Um, think that yeast, which is a, a living organism, technically uh, should not be part of that vegan diet. I completely understand and I agree with your opinion. Change it however you want. So I'm not here debating your definition. The other thing I did, I have one grill. I turned it up in super high heat to kind of burn off everything that I could. I cleaned the outside and inside. I brought the grates inside, washed them down real hard, brought them back outside, put a little vegetable oil on it, turned the heat up really high to once again try to clean everything off. I understand that due to cross-contamination, sometimes those who are vegan don't think that that is enough. I support your decision. I'm just letting you know that I tried to do everything I could to make a delicious vegan cow tipper. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these on the grill. These big bad boys, thank you once again to Impossible Foods for sending me a bunch of this delicious plant-based protein here. I patted them up. So I'm gonna cook those, I'm gonna bring them inside, and I'm gonna give you a new camera angle when I build this monstrosity of a cow tipper, and hopefully Kevin Smith does once again enjoy this, and this will, of course, increase my chances of him wanting to eat it because he is, in fact, vegan. So. I'm gonna cook these real quick. I'll come back inside, we'll build it. And once again, I'm gonna cut it right down the middle and hopefully I'll give you that sexy food porn that you desire. So I will see you in a few minutes. All right, so we are back and we have a new camera angle because I have a new little cell phone stand that uh, allows me to get a new angle. So hopefully this uh, is awesome. I'm gonna glove up. I've got our burgers made. Um, you will note that with uh, vegan cheese, sometimes the melt is not as uh, similar to, let's say, a pasteurized processed American cheese. Uh, I will say that vegan cheese has come a long way in the last five, 10 years. It tastes delicious. 
going to get the job done for those who are looking for especially dairy free or vegan there's some great options out there so without further ado let's build the impossible burger cow tipper first thing i'm going to do bottom bun vegan mayonnaise like so now once again I only have one shot at this. If everything falls apart, if it crashes and burns, I'm going to have to rebuild it. Next, we're going to do our impossible burger patty. Enormous. It's actually dripping juice right now. It is beautiful. It cooked up great. One of the other things about this, this burger is going to be three quarters of a pound heavier than my other one because the impossible burger does not lose as much weight and juice and all that stuff as the uh, beef counterpart so it'll be even bigger than the last one we're gonna do our slice of lettuce we're gonna do our three slices of tomato like so all right Layer one is complete. If this starts getting real wobbly, I might toothpick before I finish, which is something I should have done last time. Didn't do it, but that's okay. Next, next layer, vegan mayonnaise, like so. Boom, right in the middle. I'm gonna take a little more care into trying to get this even and balanced so that way uh, it doesn't fall over. This is that bottom bun is gonna be crushed. Okay. We got our, this piece of lettuce is a little big. I'm gonna trim it down just a tad. Okay, slice of lettuce. Three slices of tomato. Layer two, completed. Next layer, bottom bun, vegan mayonnaise. I will say the, the way this burger cooked up, it was super easy, nothing stuck. Uh, I probably cooked it to about a medium well doneness if we we're taking temperatures, but please cook your Impossible Burger to your desired doneness. Uh, it is recommended to cook most things to 165 degrees internal temperature. You do you. Okay. That once again, I'm going to have to hold it. Lettuce. This is going to get tricky. Like I said, this actually weighs even more than its counterpart. What I like to see is I've got like juice dripping, which looks like its meat counterpart, which is awesome. All right. I need to mayo a bun with one hand like I'm a professional here. It's like I've done this before. Sorry you can't see, but if I move, we're gonna have problems. Okay, last layer. How about I, how about I put the beef on the Impossible Burger first? Okay, there we go. Please do not fall over, please do not fall over. Lettuce. My three slices of tomato. That suspenseful music is probably playing right now. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know what it's gonna sound like. But. All right, top bun. So this is about seven and three quarters pounds of delicious burgerness. Burgerness, is that a? Oh my gosh, it is this tall. My skewer is almost not tall enough. This is magical. Here we go. Mm -mm -mm. Now, the most important part is me cutting it and you getting everything you've been waiting for, your glamour shot. I'm gonna cut it. Depending on how juicy it is, I'll bring it over to the camera. Let's see if we can do this. All right. Impossible Burger. Thank you once again for Impossible Foods for sending me your product to cook with. It has been an absolute pleasure. I'm excited to eat it. I've had it before. 
Alright. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's still it's still awesome. It's awesome every time. Let me bring it over to the camera for you. Ah yeah. I'm gonna try to hold it up with a plate because it's kind of dripping and the unfortunate thing about my new camera angle is it's right over some floor. We're holding it up normal anyway. Here we go. The inside of the Impossible Burger. I don't like that lighting. Hold on. Scratch that. Everybody hold up. We're gonna make this cooler. I need a towel. We're moving this bad boy. Here we go. Here we go. Now, I'll give you this one. This is a bigger side, actually. This is the Impossible Foods Cow Tipper. This is five pounds. It's dripping. Look at all the juice on my cutting board. Five pounds of Impossible Burger, eight slices of vegan cheese, four slices of green leaf lettuce, 12 slices of tomato, vegan mayonnaise on each layer, and then I swapped out the bun to a vegan bun. Achievement unlocked. There it is, everybody. Now I'm going to eat some. Oh, I'm going to be eating some for, I don't know, days. Even this right here, like I said, even the last time. I cooked that to about a medium well. It was about, uh, you get just a little blush in there. It's probably about 150 degrees on the inside. Cook it to your desired doneness. I believe the appropriate uh, cooked thoroughly is 160 and 165 degrees. You do you. Here we go. Mmm. Wow. Wow. Mm-hmm. 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 Delicious. Juicy. The cheese is actually great flavor. Mmm. Beef is delicious. Or the... I'm sorry. Look at that. I didn't even... I don't even know what I'm cooking with right here. The Impossible Burger is delicious oh man well and the onion bun i think i should have maybe used an onion bun in the first one because it's delicious as well i'll give you a little see if a little squeeze see all the juice coming out of there mm. well there you have it everybody this is the impossible burger cow tipper mr kevin smith once again Hopefully that offer still stands. I can make you this vegan version. I know you do intermittent fasting, so having a seven and three quarter pound burger as your first meal probably isn't smart, but hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the bell, retweet, talk about it on Reddit, uh, LinkedIn, MySpace, wherever you could talk about Chef Mike Does Stuff, please do so. I need more of your attention. Uh, I will continue making videos. We'll see what the next one is. I'm not sure. We're going to see what ingredients I have. So, like I said, please make sure to subscribe because you are not going to want to miss when Chef Mike Does Stuff. Goodbye. I'm going to eat more of these nom noms. Thank you, Impossible Foods. <sighs> Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Chef Mike bonus content. Uh, I looked down at my chef jacket and I noticed, I don't know if you can really see that, but there's all these little threads and fibers that are coming out of my chef jacket. That's because, and I'll show you exactly why. Here is my counter. Okay, let's pay attention to this edge. There's all my lights and stuff. So I always come to this side and walk back around across this counter and it catches 
almost every time because I've got these blankets in the way. So now I'm slowly destroying my chef coat as I film. You're welcome. It's the little things that I do for you for your enjoyment. <laughs>